Judith Masara, pianist, writer, and teacher here in um, Maplewood and South Orange. And she has been giving a series of lunchtime concerts featuring the music of Johann Sebastian Bach here at the library. We've been so happy to have her here giving these concerts. You can watch all six of these concerts on our YouTube channel here at South Orange Public Library. Um, Birgit holds degrees in piano and the teaching of music and English from universities in Cologne in Germany. She has taught and played widely in both Germany and the United States, now a resident of South Orange, New Jersey. She maintains a private studio and continues to teach and play in the New York City area and beyond. So, very good. Um, I want to thank you so much for sharing this series uh, with us, and I know that the, the series is part of Bach on the Subway, right. that program, and I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that program and your participation mm -hmm. in it. So, uh, Bach on the Subway was started in 2010 by a New York cellist, Dale Henderson. He thought that people would benefit from listening to Bach's music and from listening to more of it. And he figured that um, many people simply never got exposed to the music because they wouldn't go to concerts. So he decided to do something about it. And he took his cello, went into the New York subway, and started to play the Bach cello suites. And rather than collect money, he handed out postcards to people telling them about Bach's music. And um, so he did this once, and then he invited friends to participate. And in the meantime, it has grown into an international movement with a website and where you can register a performance between March 21st and March 31st. March 21st is thought to be Bach's birthday. That is, we're not quite sure it could be the 21st or it could be the 31st because the calendar was changed during Bach's lifetime. And so the musicians just figured, you know, we're going to take the 10 days and promote Bach's music. So people all over the world um, uh, play music by Bach in public settings and free of charge. That's the that's the idea, it's about the music, it's not about marketing, it's not about money, and uh, to just you know spread the vibe. And then on the website they have this beautiful, they, they have a map of the world, and everywhere where a performance is registered, Bach appears with a birthday hat. And now South Orange is and on now the since, map. And now right? South Orange is on the map. Um, I, first ran into Dale actually in the New York subway and picked up a postcard and I thought that was so cool that he played there. I love street musicians. I love the idea of the chance encounter. You know, that you really don't know who might run into this and what people may take away from it. It wasn't until last year that I found out about the international movement. Uh, I think I found it on Facebook. And then I ended up playing at the Port Authority bus terminal in New York City. <laughs> wow, how they that? have a They have a, a, a concert stage there, and people can sign up to play. So I played two concerts with book one of the bus terminal. Wow, that's amazing. What a setting. It, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's, an, it's an amazing setting, you know? Yeah, it's this thing you... If you just imagine where people might come from or be yes. going to, kind of all walks, all situations of life, and then put Bach into the mix, I think that's right. a great idea. Ah, oh, it is. And so it doesn't. You don't have to be in the subway or a transit. No, no. Uh, it's, 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 it, it can be any public space. Okay, that's great. That's great. And could you talk a little bit about <coughs> the the music in particular that you've been playing, the, the well-tempered clavier. Why, why this selection? Um, well, it's been with me now, I think probably for the past 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always been with me at kind of at crucial points of my life. Mm -hmm. 
but I emigrated from Germany when I was in New Hampshire teaching at music school, waiting for my green card. You never know how long that mm. takes. And um, it became really a red, kind of a red thread, just mm. gradually um, learning these pieces. It's a lot of work. And it's something for people who like to do sort of intricate stuff, like the 1,000 uh, piece jigsaw puzzle, or lace knitting, or uh, count cross stitch. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of take it apart and put it back together. And um, what makes it hard, it's what makes it hard and what makes it so interesting, it's independent voices coming together to create one whole. Mm -hmm. So, and you have a, you have a um, common theme at the beginning of the piece, which goes through the different voices. And then other themes uh, uh, join in, and they, they, they're you know, played back and forth between, between the voices. Everything is always in motion. That's what you know, makes, it, makes it kind of difficult, but also so interesting. And personally, I think Bach, in a way, composed how the world hangs together. Mm. You know, we saw that in the pandemic, this mm. network, and how everything shifts when thing cha things change. Mm. And, I, and, and also just the, the common responsibility for this, for this task that everybody has. And um, yeah, personally, I find that in the music, and I find mm. it very very uplifting and very grounding mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And finally, what do you hope people will take away from listening to you perform Bach in this setting? You know, that will depend on each person who was here. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm actually, I'm sure that just getting, getting the vibe out will make a difference. Mm. And you know, even if somebody just comes and enjoys these 45, 50 minutes of music, well, that's maybe something. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that makes, that, that can make a day special. Mm -hmm. That can make, that can create a break mm -hmm. where you get away from, you know, whatever you're dealing with, and then you go back, refresh, and you find yourself mm -hmm. in a different place. Mm -hmm. That is how I, felt today listening to you play. Oh, it was wonderful. like, it felt almost like a meditation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very cleansing and uplifting. So, yes. Yeah. Thank you again so much for, for sharing. Thank you for your music. Hosting this program. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be here.